Good morning, everybody. It is November the 16th. It's Saturday. I'm headed down to the farm. Jared and I are going to do a little muzzleloader hunting. Uh, we have today and tomorrow. Seriously doubt we hunt tomorrow. But I uh, wanted to get another hunt in, get the muzzleloader out, and, and uh, see if I can let it uh, puff out some smoke. So just stay with us. I'm headed down there right now. Uh, I told him I'd be there about seven. Yes, I know it's breaking daylight, but listen, I get out and hunt when I feel like it. And, uh, you know, it's muzzleloader season. So the bucks are being shot at, the, the around here, you know, does are being shot at, uh, well, except for down at the farm. There's no doe season down there. But yeah, I'm headed down that way now. It was, uh, yeah, it's 26 degrees. It's 640, so I got plenty of time to get down there. And uh, we'll just see what happens. So just stick around. folks it's going on about nine o'clock and we're heading in now we're down here on the farm and it's buck only so we've already made a pack that it's got to be a big rack buck if we're going to shoot we kind of got a late start i was down here at seven Jared was ready, but he was having an issue. His muzzleloader couldn't break it down. It was seized up. He shot it once last year, cleaned it, put it away. But uh, we finally got it unseized, and his breech plug was, he couldn't open it up with his fingers, so we had to use channel locks on it. And, uh, then uh, he was going, he was looking through it, you know, cleaning it, and uh, the uh, this very small diameter hole, I guess it rusted up. And we've been spending, we spent at least an hour trying to get it uh, cleared, and we finally got it, we finally got it cleared. And uh, and I know you heard those two shots. That can't be a muscle odor. I don't know what somebody's doing. Maybe squirrel hunting. It was too quick for being a muscle odor. It didn't sound right anyway. But uh, we finally got it cleared. We're heading into the woods now. You just seen him walk away. So I'm gonna end the video ease my way up I'm going to the area where this nine point had showed up several times but we don't know if he's still in here or not so y'all just stay with us hey everybody 
Me and Dad's out here on the last day of muzzleloader season. I had to work all week. Um, I didn't get a chance to hunt. So we came out this morning. It's Saturday. We come out this morning. Had some technical issues with my gun. Uh, had to get that fixed. So we got a little bit of a late start into the woods. Uh, we've been in here now probably about an hour and a half, something like that. Only hunting about half a day. Um, I've got some stuff I got to take care of. And uh, we're just going to be able to hunt for a little while. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm using my cell phone to video. Um, a lot of my stuff from camp still isn't unpacked. Uh, I don't have a tripod that was handy. So I just thought, well, I'll just shoot the video with my phone. Uh, haven't seen nothing. We've heard some shots today. Uh, a couple behind me, a few across down the holler here. And then somebody's target practicing or something. I can hear a bunch of shots over and over and over. But uh, it's a beautiful day. It was nice and cold this morning in the 20s. Uh, had a good frost on. Just haven't seen any deer moving. So uh, y'all stick with us and maybe we can at least get some video of a doe or something. Uh, where we're hunting at today um it's buck only uh you, there's no doe season here so uh chances of seeing a big rack buck this late in the season for me anyway some people have that type of luck but for me anyway are pretty slim but we're just out enjoying the woods so y'all stick with us maybe we'll have a little more for you Okay, I've made it to my spot. I probably sit here about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And then I may head on up, up the hall or some. I just looked at the scrape. It's right there. Yeah, right there. That that nine point was making. And it still looks like it's fresh. It, it may not be. But it's still there. We've heard one shot this morning while we was working on his gun. And it was way back out that way. So we're going to see what happens. Maybe they are moving. said it was 26 degrees when I got here. We'd already been in the woods at least an hour and a half by now if he hadn't had those issues with his muscle over. And again, like I said, he cleaned it last year. He shot it one time and then he cleaned it. I don't know if he didn't clean it well enough, but the uh, breech plug 
very small flash hole at the powder end. Had rust inside of it. We finally got it cleared out. So it's good to go now. That's the only thing with black powder, even with the modern pellets. It's corrosive. Y'all just stay with us. A little after 10, I moved up the holler some.
Well, folks, it's about 11. Dude and I are going to head out. He's already down here waiting on me. So, that'll be it. I mean, we got out for a few hours. And that's what I'll tell you. We hunt when we want to hunt. We need to do better. This year's just been an awful year. So, y'all just stay with us. Please. See anything? No. Nope. Did check my camera since last time we checked it. There's been a, a couple does in there, even though I didn't have my glasses to look at it real good. Mm -hmm. Been a couple does in there. And uh, it didn't even take any pictures of me standing at the tree because I'm right there almost in front of the camera. Yeah. So. Well, folks, that's it for muzzleloader season for us. We got a few hours in. Uh. Just had some technical difficulties at 7 o'clock this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we hope to do better for next year. I mean, we're going to plan on it. We got some plans for the farm down here. And uh, we just had a lot of issues going on this year. That just one thing led to another thing and then another thing. And we just didn't get to hunt the way we really, really wanted. So uh, for me and Jared, we appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, share the videos. And we're fond of saying, see you in the woods. Thanks for watching. <laughs>